people have arrived. Yes, kicking sir. out tomorrow, man. What, what can you say about that? Uh, it's going to be an exciting night. It's going to be fun. It's going to be cold as hell, but it uh, <laughs> should be fun. Now, excuse my language. You guys have put last year behind you yes, to sir. a degree. Yes, sir. But people still talk about it. How much does that linger? Uh, lingers a lot, but you know we try to avoid it as much as we can. You know, if they have any questions, we could tell them whatever because you know it's over now. So focus on the new season. Worried about new coaching staff. We're worried about a new team. So we don't really got nothing to worry about no more. Now, when we look at the polls, you guys aren't ranked very high. Mm -hmm. Does that matter to you personally? And have you talked about it as a team, or does it matter to the team? Uh, it definitely matters, but right now we can't really worry about it. We worry about other games. We're not really worried about a ranking. We're worried about winning. We're worried about a team chemistry. We're worried about us still being together through adversity at the same time. So I don't think it really matters. We're just going to prove me wrong. Now, when the fans see you this year, <laughs> what are some of the things they can see that you've worked on over the summer? Uh, hmm. A little bit more skill. Uh, you know, me flying through the sky with my boy uh, L throwing the ball to me. Lobs every year, every game for sure. Uh, just all around excitement on the court. Now, you, you talked about uh, flying through the air and lobs and, and whatnot. Who... When we look around this room, mm -hmm. who are the guys that you have victimized with those type of things? Uh, my boy Ashton, Miles DeVore, number 30. Like I said, L. Ellis. Uh, who else we got in? <laughs> uh, my boy Hersey right here next to me. Yeah, so yeah, those are the top three for real, for real. Okay, so my last question is for the fans, man. How much should the fans, even though guys didn't have uh, the results that you wanted last year. How much did they encourage you, man, to talk about, you know, how much they appreciated watching you guys out there on the court? Uh, the fans have done an amazing job with helping us out, helping us move past our, you know, our dark year. But, you know, like I said before, they just, they just got to see us this year and just have fun with us. Okay. Yeah. The coach talked about how hard the practices are. Mm -hmm and that it's kind of bringing you all out of your comfort zone. That's right. Why don't you talk about that? And how are you dealing with it? Uh, the practices have definitely brought me out of my comfort zone a lot. Um, they've been tough here and there, but you know, as a team, we gotta come together and just stick together and bring each other up and not down. Just keep pushing every day. How has the practices um, been better for you as your skill level? Uh, practices for me have been a lot better because, you know, I'm uh, coming back from last year. Couldn't, I couldn't really get my win, but now this year I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be okay with the way we've been running every single practice and just attacking every single day. So what can the fans expect for this season? Uh, this year, the fans can definitely expect a lot of excitement from the team. Uh, for me, personally, you can accept, you can, you know, say, see a lot of a lot of growth in my game, uh, and a lot of my team is a lot of them are growing up. It's just you know, had a lot of a lot of patience just to get this the year started. What are you looking forward to tomorrow night? Said, am I looking forward to tomorrow night? Honestly, I am looking forward to it because my family is going to be there and, you know, a lot of my friends are going to be there. So it should be fun. I should have a lot of, you know, I had one experience last year. So should have another one this year.